Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we just got a quick update looking at progress on uh, creating a model of Dolgok by destroying one of the Batman, Thomas and Friends uh, narrow gauge models. Um, if you remember from last time, it's a few weeks ago now, uh, I got to the point where we'd done all the uh, brass parts, put them all on, made sure they were all fitting, all the holes were drilled. So the next thing to do was the, to start on the painting. Um, so as you can see, everything's had a coat of grey primer uh, and then everything's had a black uh, a coat. So that doesn't really do much for most of the parts. I mean, they look uh, they look kind of more coherent um, now that they're all the same colour. So, you know, we don't have this issue of bits of um, plastic and bits of, of metal. I obviously need to do it again. I've just noticed I've got a part, part that I've already scratched. Um, so that'll need probably another another rub down and another spray but um, they're starting to look slightly more uh, as I say coherent um, everything's kind of pulling together nicely um, it's, you know we've lost we've lost the ability to tell which bits are which bits are printed which bits are like the original model you know, that kind of thing so it's all it's all looking really good um, the other thing I've done is start to add some of the details back um, to the chassis the footplate sorry uh, before we get to more painting so that everything can kind of become be done in, in one go um, so for this for this I've added back uh, the buffers obviously I took these off originally so that I could get to the buffer beam properly to rub it down and add the detailing um, I've also added the, the coupling hooks back now just like I did when I was building the model of Taladin I've managed to lose one of the couplings uh, one of the tiny little plastic parts trying to get them back in the hole on the model um, without breaking either the coupling the plastic coupling uh, hook or the buffer uh, and one of them went pinging off, off across the study no idea where it went um, so I've done what I did on Taladin which is I've made some replacement ones so this is just some brass wire folded roughly to shape uh, and then the hook part filed on both sides so that it appears to be uh, flat at the end rather than uh, just round wire uh, it seems to have the, the right kind of look to it um, and the shape's not ridiculously uh, important as I say most of the time you can't you can't really see it especially because these buffer beams will stay will stay black and they'll get some weathering but they'll stay black they won't be it won't be bright red and the coupling hook um, standing out against them so that's that's that uh, I've also added the little lubricator pots um, we've looked at these before um, I've now glued these on uh, so that I could cut, include them in the in the spraying and I've cut down the the lengthy top arm uh, to match. As I say, uh, we've looked at these before, they're not ridiculously close to the um, prototype because of the way um, creating something at this tiny little scale was was now impossible, but from a quick glance and certainly from a distance they, they look the part um, and you can see I've, I've most of the damage I did um, to the foot plate where I've kind of cut things off and, and, and stuff like that I've, and filled things in has all been hidden now by the, um, the the coat of primer and the black, um, so that's all nice. The only thing that needs doing on this part before I weather it is obviously picking out details on the back head, uh, and the two splashes need to be uh, painted the body colour, the green body colour. Not sure whether I'm going to do that with a brush, <coughs> um, or whether I'm going to actually mask up and do it with the airbrush. Um, if I do it with the airbrush, then it'll wait till I do <coughs> the um, the rest of the the body there's no point getting the airbrush out for those tiny two tiny little bits when I'm going to do the rest as well so uh, we'll see so not a huge amount of progress but I just thought given that it had kind of sat around for a while and we are not talked about it because of um, work over the, the summer months on the um, the 60 millimeter battery electric model I was building with my son and moving on to building the the model of the Earl we'd not looked at Dolgok for a while um, so before it got completely forgotten I, I thought I'd, I'd show you where we got to so I think as I say, the next thing will be probably the body colour actually um, makes sense. Uh, obviously, I need to retouch up some of these bits where it's got chipped. That's what happens when I leave it out of my desk for too long before I uh, put it in a box. Uh, and then, the, and then the body colour. I mean, the body colour is not too difficult. Obviously, all the cab needs to be done, uh, <clears throat> and the boiler barrel and, and side tanks, um, and that that's pretty much it. There's not very much else to do uh, in the body colour. It's, it's fairly straightforward. It should be fairly easy to mask up as well. Um, so hopefully I'll get to that soon. As I say, I tend to spray the paint outside in the garden, so 
be nice to do it before the weather turns too much and I find it difficult to find a day and what that I could that I could do it with with, with bad weather or whatever. Um, so we shall see. Um, I'm not sure quite when I'll get to it. I've got a busy couple of weeks coming up for work and, and, and family. Um, and as I say, with the ongoing build of the of the Earl and trying to keep up with other people and doing that build as well. Um, progress on this may may stall again. But I thought it was worth giving a quick quick update this week on, on where we got to. Thanks. Bye.